Welcome back to a Master and Apprentice podcast. We're doing another Boba Fett review today. And yeah. holy shart, we um we watched it together. We were FaceTiming and we started at the exact same time. Kind of like a uh, watch party. And um, so we're just fresh off the watch like 10 minutes ago. And wow. Holy crap. 10 out of 10. I, I, it's easy. It was an amazing episode. Anything that the, la- the last episode, the 9 out of 10 episode lacked, this one gave us. Yeah. And yes, we only had a shot of Boba Fett. But we had a shot of Boba Fett. We got more Boba Fett story. We got so much more story. Yeah. L- last episode had no Boba Fett story at all. I mean, I say no Boba Fett story. Obviously, it's going to tie in. But this one, it was a lot of Boba Fett and or a lot of Mandalorian and still had Boba Fett. I just... And Grogu. How the frick is he going to play in? I'm sorry. There's only one more episode in the season. And you're telling me that Grogu and Luke and Ahsoka... Like or that might happen next episode, might happen next season. What? I really, I just wanted to, this is fresh off my mind, and I just can't get it out of my head. I really hope Grogu stays with Luke. Me I know too. he probably won't, but oh. it seems too obvious that he just he can't. I mean, I don't know. I Luke know. did the same exact thing, like straight up in uh, Emperor Strikes Back, I believe, whatever episode five was. Luke straight up was like, uh, no, screw that. I'm going to go w- and save my friends. And I mean, that looks like exactly what Grogu's about to do. For real. I don't know. But re- regardless of that scenario, oh my gosh. <sighs> I don't think there was anything. I was really sad about Cobb Vanth dying. Like, I'm hoping he's still alive. And obviously he very could be. Because... You know, he shot him above. He shot him in the shoulder. Yeah, and he didn't shoot him more than once. Like he shot the other guy. Deputy's dead. Yeah. Cobb Bath was an awesome addition, but oh, oh, Cad Bane. Cad Bane. Ahsoka I mean, it, it, it was Luke amazing. Side by because... side, talking to each other. Ahsoka saying, "You're so much like your father." Luke brought me to tears. That was this episode was. This is like Revenge of the Sith writing. This was beautiful. This was. All around, like I had no problems with it. Like, sure, I didn't like Cobb Vanth possibly dying, but that's good writing. I don't want, I don't want Baby Yoda to, you know, go to back to the Mandalorian and wanting to stay with Luke. That's good writing to leave us on a cliffhanger like that. All around, there's nothing wrong with the episode. It was beautiful. You watch the first five episodes. They say they need manpower at the end of what episode four, episode five. They're showing the Mandalorian. Obviously, he's going to come in. We're all thinking Mandalorian's not enough. He's going to need someone else. Obviously, they mentioned that. We're thinking Cad Bane's going to come back. Like, I mean, that's one thing we've been hoping for, if not other bounty hunters. And we're like, he's going to fight with the Mandalorian. Holy crap, he's the other side. Like, that is just plot twist. I mean, not really plot twist, but kind of. I just, I don't even, like, this is going to be a short podcast because I'm just, I'm just awestruck. How beautiful this episode was like i i know like this is probably what everyone else is saying because they're just high in the moment but this really was like revenge of the sith just all around beautiful writing beautiful screenplay beautiful visualization beautiful storytelling beautiful everything it was just perfect this is what Star Wars is about is these kind of scenarios leaving us awestruck waiting for the next moment seeing these characters that we love bringing us new characters bringing us characters that we don't know as much like it's just Mwah, it's beautiful. Yoda, Yoda's a lightsaber. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. I saw Luke pull that out. I'm like, oh my gosh, that's Luke. I, 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 you could tell which how short it was. And I'm like, oh my gosh, he got, he kept it. And I mean, that obviously makes sense. Who else is going to have it? But like, that is so genius. <laughs> it's just, ah. Uh, it's beautiful. It had everything. It had, you know, like those sad scenes with, you know, people dying. It had, you know, serious scenes. It had Bro, this is a freaking Luke. movie. It had funny. It literally was like a freaking movie. It was beautiful. This is what I expect from Kenobi. This is what I expect. I f- expect this big story. I expect all killer, no filler. I expect us to be on the edge of our seats. I expect us to be crying. I expect us to be angry. Just like this episode. This episode was just, it's just beautiful. I'm so excited. I can't. I, I'm so excited that we only get one more episode. It took us this long. I mean, episode 
the episode before and the episode before were all pretty good. But this was just amazing. And usually this kind of episode, this is the season ending, right? This is not the second to last kind of episode. But it yeah. was. It was just amazing. And you, you, you start this episode like, all right, Mandalorian is back. And obviously he's going with Boba Fett now. You you could not, if you told me the ending of this episode before I watched it, I would be like, what the frick are you talking about? This took so, it had just, it, it went in so many different directions, but at the same time, it was just, so, it was beautiful. I don't even know. It it really was. I, I like, I'm an awestruck. I could go over every little thing, but there was like I literally yeah, the I whole time I was trying to look for something that was wrong there was nothing wrong in this episode it was like Revenge of the Sith there's nothing wrong with it like that's a perfect movie a perfect Star Wars movie I wouldn't say perfect movie because you know not most yeah Star maybe Wars the movies acting's not perfect but, like, at know, some point but like Star Wars movies you can kind of find something wrong with I think Return of the Jedi and Revenge of the Sith are perfect Star Wars movies this like I, I want to redo our tier list, you know the movie tier list we did because this, oh, this could be like this episode alone would be like the highest, second to highest. Like, it was just amazing. It brought all the series. It brought the original trilogy. It brought the prequels. It brought the Clone Wars. It brought stuff from after. Yeah. Oh my trilogy. gosh! It, it showed more things before. about Order sixty six. Order sixty six. You see nothing about that. Everything together. It was amazing. It was just beautiful. It was a very long time. And we're not even done. We have one last episode. Yeah. And I mean, it, we, we could even go in depth on this episode. Like, we, we haven't seen this yet, but like, we could watch back on Grogu's little flashback. Um, And you could see, oh, these are the two Jedi that were there. Obviously, that's the Temple, or the three Jedi, however that many there were. And you can play. This happened, which means that that It just added so much little. It's beautiful. Yeah, it was beautiful. This is why I this is why I believe Star Wars is not, for lack of a better term, fucked. Because Dave Filoni can write things like this. John Favreau, I mean Boba Fett's not that, right? Boba Fett is like, you know, middle of the line, pretty good. And then we get things like this from Dave Filoni because Dave Filoni did this episode. Yeah. And it's just a masterpiece. Like Dave Filoni makes needs to make some movies, man. Because this is beautiful. <laughs> I hope he's uh, in charge of writing the next three in the next in twenty years. <laughs> I I hope he's in charge of Kenobi. I know he's not. Like I hope he gets something inside of there that we're just not aware of yet. Because Kenobi's pretty much going to be a a, a series, right? Because yeah. it's six episodes, but they're an hour long each. So it's you know two hours is like an, a movie. So it's pretty much a trilogy, yeah. right? And the, the, yeah. I I just hope. I know this is Boba Fett, but this has got me hyped for Kenobi because, like, this is beautiful writing, and this is what I expect from Kenobi because Kenobi is the most hyped Star Wars. This is the most I've been ever hyped. I mean, I remember when Mandalorian came out and I heard about Kenobi, and I was just buzzed out of my mind. Like, I was so excited. Yeah. Oh, I just, I'm just I, I'm so excited. This was like, I just can't get over it. Like. I was thinking the ending of season two for Mandalorian is beautiful. The last episode we had was beautiful. The beginning of Bad Batch episode one of season one for Bad Batch, all like really good nine out of ten episodes. And then I was thinking like, we don't really have any ten out of ten episodes. No, nine didn't. out of ten is perfect. It's like that's really really good. But ten out of ten is like Revenge of the Sith, and we haven't gotten anything Revenge of the Sith since Revenge of the Sith. Yeah. And then we go and get something like this tops everything that we've gotten since. It's just amazing. Oh yeah, it really is. I I know we're probably just in the high of the moment. Like we love it, but like I haven't been in the high I, of the moment I, for I, any other episode. I just can't think of anything wrong with this. Yeah. Like I love the part that uh Mandalorian goes all the way out to that planet and uh Ahsoka's like, All right, so you can if you want to, but you know you're gonna ruin him if you do that. Like Wait, and he was willing to sacrifice that, so I don't want Grogu to ruin that sacrifice, you know? Yeah. That's kind of why I want him to stay with it. Luke, which he probably won't stay with Luke, but I just hope he does. Yeah, and they're showing the building of the temple for episode 789. That didn't... Oh, my God. Isn't that awesome? Yeah. Oh, my God. Fucking Ben Swolo destroys it all. <laughs> ben Swolo. Yeah. 
it was just it was just beautiful i if you haven't seen mandalorian like i literally said at the beginning of mandalorian like like you're just gonna have to wait until the end because like it starts slow and gets better and gets better like we didn't have anything like this for mandalorian season one mandalorian season one was pretty slow for the whole thing it was good but it wasn't like this it wasn't like it brought all star wars together in one episode you know? Every episode of Boba Fett I've been hyped for. I mean, this one by far much more than any other one. This was the best. Every episode Easy. added to it. it. It's it's just gotten better and better and better. First one was slow. Second one was slower. The third was bringing the pace back up. Or no 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 no. Fourth, one was that, one second was, was slow, good. Two was better. Three got slow. Four got better. Five got better. Way better. Six is just turning me on. Anyway. Like, beautiful. I, th- th- there's no filler episodes. Like, Mandalorian, I'm pretty sure they had a filler episode in there. I mean, maybe two. You would kind of put episode three as a filler. I mean, like, not much happened in that one. Not a ton happened, but that, that was a ton of backstory. A- episode three? Oh, shoot, I was thinking of two. Episode three was the one where, like, he got the guys, the, the biker gang, like... The biker gang. Yeah, you could... That That is a filler. They did have a couple details that they... Uh, someone, like, yes, he got bikers, but, like... I didn't need a whole episode. Yeah, they got the bikers, and then the other thing that happened was that one senator dude, mayor dude, is now on yeah, vacation. We, we, Those we, are the yeah. two things we found on that episode. Yeah, and we found out the pikes were kind of coming. And Yeah, I mean, I, th- there's definitely something else we're missing that is relative to the plot, but it, it really isn't anything extremely major that happened. And just, so I guess that's a filler episode, but I, Mandalorian... I, I can't believe Cad Bane was... Uh, the <laughs> I really hope Cobb Vanth is not dead. I don't know if you know, Cobb Vanth was a Legends character, and they pretty much like gave him a different story, but kind of the same story. Like, just they, they added him, and they kind of gave him a new story, like different persona, and I love it. And obviously, they keep talking about him. Yeah, I just love Cobb Vanth, and I really hope that he's not dead. Dead. It's <sighs> it was really good. I'm really excited. If you haven't seen it already, just if you have seen it, go watch it again. It was really good. I'm going to be watching again tomorrow. It was amazing. It was really good. I can't wait to show this one to my wife because I told her I don't want her to watch the last episode and this episode until she's done with Mandalorian. So she's not like confused. I can't wait to watch both of these last two again because they're just so good. Yeah. Oh my gosh. And I, I'm so hyped for the last episode because this next episode is either going to be the Pike War or just setting season two up beautifully for the Pike War. Like or, what I was thinking was like we're gonna get Mandalorian season three before we get uh Bobo Fett season two. I mean Bobo Mandalorian's had like half of the epi- half of this the Boba Sh- Boba Fett show. What if yeah. like most of the Mandalorian is based off of Boba Fett's war? Cool. Yeah. I, I, like, oh. it, like I I'm really excited to see what happens next. <sighs> Especially with Cad Bane and Boba Fett, Ugh, I am the only thing I'm at, the only thing I'm mad about is that I have to wait a week to see the next episode. <laughs> I know I was mad last week. I'm, I'm in, Ugh, bro. This is just I can't even. There's just too too good. Yeah. Well, anyway, I mean, I could. We we we. we, we, we I won't give you any more information. Yeah. We, I'm not going to be able to give you any more information than just go watch it and see for yourself. This is beautiful. It was just an amazing episode all around. All the cameos, all of the tie-ins, all the plugs. It was just... Had Bane, Ahsoka, Cobb Vance. The Skywalker. Mexican standoff there. Like, I mean... (laughs) It was was just... It was just really good. Yeah. The Order 66 scene was amazing. The Cobb oh. Vance and Cad Bane scene was amazing. The Luke Skywalker and Ahsoka talking scene was amazing. The Boba Fett and Mandalorian and Black Christensen and all the biker gang all talking on the table was amazing. Like, it was all amazing. There was nothing I didn't like about this episode. Yeah. I mean... I would ask you uh, what, what you would rate it out of 10. But 10. I know it's a 10. Yeah, it was just... Like, uh, like I'm probably a victim of the moment right now, but it was just really good. Like I just can't think of anything else. Like it was just good. I think the only way I don't rate this as a ten at the end of the series is if the next episode is so good that it bumps it down to a nine and then bumps everything else down one. Like yeah, that's true. I don't see that happening just because of how amazing this episode is. Like I don't even think if the other, next I don't episode is amazing, I think they're both tens. 
I don't I don't see the next episode beating this. I can see the next episode reaching the same level, but not beating this. Those are just too no. too good. Oh my gosh. The next episode oh my gosh. Yes. Yeah, so next week uh for episode seven, last episode of the season. Um Yeah. Uh, Sammy's then... quitting his job so we can review it right when it uh, comes out. Um yeah. <laughs> I'm I we I'm literally I think I'm gonna stay up all night on Tuesday night to watch like to do a watch party for it. Uh, I could so, totally do that because I'm probably working it, at four, so I could just. I mean, I, I'm gonna do one for three. Yeah, I just I, I might as well stay up, you know, because. <sighs> That's beautiful. I I wasn't going to originally, but this episode makes me like I I need to stay up to watch it. <laughs> all right, with that. Yes, yeah, I know we didn't say many words except, except the word sex, and we love in 10 out of 10, but it was just <laughs> it was just good. I recommend watching it. So, with all of that, you got anything else, Austin? Yep, that's about it for me. All right, if you're watching this on YouTube, hit that subscribe, please. Hit that like, share. If you're listening to this on any podcast platform, Spotify, or any other pod- podcast platform. Make sure you hit that follow, the notification, rate us. Um, keep in tune. We haven't been uploading quite much this week. We up- uploaded once or twice, but we're going to be uploading some more. Um, and with all of that, I think we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye.